Okay, welcome back. So let's address the last tutorial regarding you know, to the practical parallel computing you know, and open phone and visualization. So in the next one, let's move to to this folder YF17. So this is a nice tutorial just to visualize the difference between uh, different uh, decomposition methods. Okay, so here we're going to see hierarchical decomposition and scotch de decomposition, which by, by the way, these cases are, are ready to run. Okay, so later is the one you, you, you can try to run the case. But just to show you the difference, and hierarchical is the open and decomposed part here dictionary. See that this one asks you number of subdomain always the type, but then you need to give some coefficients. Okay, so this coefficient is how you are splitting the domain in, in x, y, and z direction. Okay, you can give also some specific ordering. So you see that different methods it will ask you different entries, and how you decompose the domain also might have an impact in the computing time. So not necessarily what you are doing here will be the ideal or not necessarily what you have here in this coach will be ideal, okay? It's difficult to, to know a priori that. But usually what you, you are doing in this coach or what this library is doing in this coach is better than doing it that hierarchical, using an hierarchical method or manual method or any other method because this one is minimizing the, compo the, the communication between processors, okay? So if I go back here, so you have this region, the halo region, so it will do a minimization, okay? So it will reduce that computing time. So what we're going to he do here is decompose this geometry, a nice geometry, using two different methods and just see what is the difference between both, both of them, okay? So let me do some cleaning here, okay? So to run this case, is you go here, you have this grid, okay, to do you will see that it's just doing the decomposition. It's not running the case. If you want to run the case, you have here the run solver to run and you can do your, your benchmarking. So see that in this case, we're using the long method, okay? So we, we, we don't use the, the, the self is auction we create it here. And then we open everything using Python and we compare. So let me go here, run the composition. It will do the decomposition in each directory, okay? And now that we have the decomposition, see that, it, and it created all the files, everything, we can open the, the, the different cases, okay? Uh, just rem uh, to remind you, uh, when you see in a, in a case directory this para view means that you can open this file to open a, a predefined state, okay? So that is what I'm going to do, okay? So I go here, Python build int, okay? So see that here, I save it and, and a state, whoops. Cancel. Okay, let me close. I save it. This is state that I can reopen and and reproduce what I was doing. Okay, so let me go back there. Okay, ignore that error as you have it. So if let me go here first. Let me open the geometry. So see that this is the geometry that we have. Okay, so we're running this actual case. It's a nice airplane there, just to show you. And now that let's open this state. To open this state file load state here and then press ok and you should have this okay probably with a different background i don't know it's your setup so see that this is what happens here different methods so see in this case here we have hierarchical decomposition and here a scotch de decomposition so see that they are very different and what is important that in the scotch what I was saying that each core will, the high halo sound, Rouse speaking will have same area, but also each core, Rouse speaking will have the same number of, of cells, okay? You need to have a well-balanced distribution. Instead here, you will see that one core will have a lot of cells and the other less cells. So that might influence, might have an impact in your, in the, in the computational speed. Now, not the solution, the solution should be the, the same, okay? And, just to show you to see better, let me change here just to visualize better. Okay. So see that what ha happens here is this. Okay. So see that in this one half, the orange and blue one, these two processors, they have a lot of cells. Instead, this green and red, they don't have many cells. Okay. So it's not well balanced. Okay. One core will might need. For instance, in this core, you have 
10 million, uh, 10 million cells, you know that you need a lot of memory here. Okay, instead, if you balance everything in the right way, probably each corp will need only one, two million cells and you will be able to deal with that. And if we go here, let me change again. Uh, just to stress that these are things that you need to do, okay, when running, just this is out of curiosity. A lot of people is curious now to know what is happening now, just to show you, but these are stuff that you, you need to care about, about this. Most of the time it's done right now. Uh, the compose part, it does a very good job. So see the difference between the boss, the, the, the composition. Let me hide this, this region, okay? I hide the large region. And as you see here, you will see each processor will have roughly speaking the same number of cells, okay? Divided in different ways and also the intercommunication the, here, the halo area will be minimized. Okay, so this is the idea of doing the decomposition. Uh, you can confirm that here you have, uh, 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 let me go for instance, let me go hierarchical and let me do the compose power force. Okay, so I'm forcing, and see here that it's giving you, okay, the number of cells by, by processor. So actually hierarchical, this one is, roughly speaking, you have the, the, the same cell, cell, cells in each core, okay. And then as you go to the other one, okay, you go the compose parts and see that I'm using the auction minus force. See that it's doing the same and see that each core have different cells. Okay, and see that in the boundary regions, roughly speaking, it tries to, 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 to get the same number of cells. Instead, in the previous one, see that this one, processor one and zero, they have more cells than the other two. Instead here, roughly speaking, it tries to do, to, to, to divide something, you not know, to have the same number of cells. So it's doing an optimization problem. So this is all just, I wanted to show you. Again, this is stuff that you need to care about that unless for you, this is important. And if you want to go you know, into details, otherwise, just the compose part, use the scotch method, then run using MPI run. Remember that you need to put the minus parallel auction and doesn't matter the solver. So see here that raw pimple phone, okay, four cores, parallel, and see the number mesh, it runs in parallel. So that's all. And at the end, you can reconstruct or you can use Paraphone built-in. I recommend you to use the, uh, the auction Paraphone built-in. So that's all for this case on for parallel computing okay just to show you a few a few things thank you for your attention and see you in the next modules bye